Hi, uh, my name is Ram Chandra Reddy. I am the founder of uh, Moschuk Semiconductors many years ago, 1999 to be precise, and the chief promoter of the company. Um, just a brief on me, I'm a chip designer. That's my background. Done for 25 years in the Silicon Valley, designed DSP chips and so forth, and then started my own companies as an entrepreneur. Started a couple of companies, sold them to the bigger companies and moved on. And after 25 years, about 1997, moved back to India, settled in Hyderabad, um, and uh, saw an opportunity for building a fabulous semiconductor company, which I've kind of done for many years in the United States. So it's all the same, but there was nothing like that in India at that time. So there was an opportunity to be the first company, not like designs, there were a few design companies working for uh, multinationals, but nothing, nobody was here making products made in India and selling it overseas. So I, that was our experience, that's my experience, selling worldwide products, uh, making our own chips. So took that opportunity, started a small company uh, in 1999, about say, say 2000, and uh, it was difficult to get engineers at the time, design engineers who are experienced in this area, who can take a chip all the way from design to manufacturing. There was nobody here, absolutely. Although some institutes, uh, some professors disagree with me, they only uh, teach them how to design, how to make a tape out, but not how to manufacture it, and how to sell it in volume, and how to support it. So that was uh, my dream, to build a fabulous, true fabulous semiconductor company. And uh, under the guidance of we lucked out uh, hiring a uh, very senior uh, engineer, and actually when hired him was fresh out of college, Vishnu, and uh, he happened to be my ace of my sleeve for engineering department. Under him, we built a very nice, very good uh, design engineering, and we started making products. I was marketing them, I was design, giving them a spec, and they are designed, we fab them, and we uh, sold more than about 10 million chips worldwide to many, many customers, such as Airbus, Sony, Panasonic, um, many, Nokia, big companies. Uh, and not just supporting them chips, selling them chips, we were supporting them with their software, with their uh, uh, system boards, we had a whole department. So it grew, my dream wanted to, my dream was to build few thousand engineers like that and have a most of campus somewhere with all this stuff and uh, teaching and training and everything. So that was back in 2000. Today, it is really my dream has come true. We have some 1500 engineers, very, very senior trained engineers. And uh, we have institute that trains these people. They may not be a big place where most of I thought I can have a big campus, but it's pretty close to campus. It's, it's a huge operation, uh, so it's really satisfying. But let me tell you our road to this uh, place where it's a success today. We had our tough times. We had uh, made quite a few chips in uh, USBs, connectivity, uh, uh, communications, data communication, and SOCs. We had quite a few chips, we sold them, we were making money a few quarters, and then we got hit with some uh, unfortunate uh, SARS, and then uh, that was a major problem in uh, China where a big market was, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and uh, Europe. But uh, a lot of traffic was stopped. We couldn't design in, we couldn't go visit people, visit customers. So we hit some uh, roadblocks. We started losing some money. And then uh, and then 2008, the, the um, Arthur Anderson uh, the audit uh, case in the US, that kind of crashed to many, many companies, including Lehman Brothers, you would have heard all that. So that took away like three hours of a, a, a small company. We couldn't afford to not to go sell these chips, not to travel. Uh, so we were losing money. We had some hard times and I was still funding it. I was raising money. We had a good um, financial department. Um, we had a CFO and we had a, a vice president of finance. Um, and the group really helped me sustain the company uh, and the engineering department under Vishnu and many other engineers, they all really supported, even though we were very 
uh, late in payments and salaries. These things happen for any startup companies till you get really stabilized. So they really supported. They were all there all through. So I really thankful to that group of people. Who are, some of them are not there. Some of them are still there. Um, so that was very good uh, help. When the product started going down because we couldn't travel, we couldn't with all these problems, we had to quickly change our strategy and go into design service because where we get paid and at least the pays our salaries and keeps our engineers intact and we grow our technology. So we switched to that. We sold off our products division to a Chinese company, use that money to hire people, uh, write more software, go to design service. But it takes time to go from products to design service. It needs service mentality. Uh, and we were struggling a little bit. We did get some good, very good uh, DRDO projects, huge projects. And that really gave us a boost to uh, keep up with the technology, uh, advance and uh, keep all the engineers busy working. And I was uh, struggling hard to make the payrolls and keep it going. And at some point, I figured we really need to get a, a major investor into it because I could only go so far up to a certain point and uh, supporting it. And then we luckily, we lucked out to bring a very uh, big uh, investor uh, into the company who invested more than 50% uh, of the company. And uh, he brought in some uh, team, uh, his own uh, financial team to clean up some of our activities, some of our losses and reduce them and kind of give us their expertise how to make it profitable kind of stuff. So that really changed it. And with the money in the bank, with the support from the investor, I could go look for some opportunities to add on to what we already have. And that's where we lucked out. We, uh, I was instrumental in bringing in my old time friends, uh, uh, Sinovas Kakumanu, he had his company running profitably and a few hundred engineers, uh, very nicely in uh, design services. And Venkat uh, uh, Simadri from USA, uh, working on IPs. Not much of revenue, but it was IPs and uh, his experienced person as a CEO. So I brought the team together, we merged them into our company, made a deal with uh, our help of our investor, and uh, that's the beginning of our change for Moisture. It just grew after that, um, very well managed. We've got a lot more contracts overseas with their help. And around that point, I stepped down and said, let them, the youngsters take over and run it. Time for me to step down, just be on the board of directors, just managing, uh, helping them, consult with them. So that grew, uh, that was a major change for us. Uh, it was very good change uh, as a design service company uh, and embedded software company. But now we still going forward, we need to be doing products. We need to get into that line. That is the survival, that is the growth for the company, not just design. So we are on the on our way. We are, I believe, Mastip is uh, building on some of these uh, turnkey solutions where you design for a company and make uh, products for them and ship supply manufacture and ship it to them with a markup with a margin for you. So that is a product company again. So we go back to being a product company down the road and while supporting them with a top of the line four or five nanometers, four nanometers designs, analog, digital. Um, today we have a lot of IP uh, in, in service and uh, th uh, thanks for the acquisitions we did. And uh, it's, go it's going to grow from 1500 to 5000 and more very soon. It's only a matter of time. And that was my dream to build up to this point. And it's, I think it's nice. It's good to be able to sit down and talk to you guys. Wish you all good luck. And uh, my dream has come true. And I can sit and watch watch it grow. And, uh, and, and today, after all these years, 25, 30 years, Mastership is still the only product company in India, design services, products, and a listed company in Bombay Stock Exchange. There are hundreds of semiconductor companies. There are very big companies, all designs, do for themselves and do some designs and MNCs. But nothing like Mastership, this is the only company today, listed company, trading very well with a very huge market cap. I think it's a feather in our, feather in our cap for all of us to survive um, good times and hard times, uh, very strenuous times. And to where we are today, it's uh, excellent. I wish you all, it's been about 25 years since we started the company in uh, 1999.
and good luck guys all of you grow with the company stay there and uh, make it a large company to be proud of thank you